the Deep South National Science Challenge is striving to enable New Zealanders to adapt, manage and thrive in a changing climate. The core of this challenge is we're increasing our modelling capacity really substantially and quite radically so we'll be able to have an Earth system model that's actually designed for New Zealand and tailored to New Zealand. We also are going to look at how that model gives us more information on the impacts and implications of climate change in New Zealand. But in order to build that, we have to have a better understanding of processes and observations that are happening in what we call the Deep South region, which is this, the Southern Ocean and Antarctica, which are very difficult parts of the world to get to. And New Zealand has extraordinary expertise and capacity to get there. And because they're very difficult to get to, they're very remote, um, it's one of the areas of the Earth system that we don't understand so well. So that's why it's so important. It's the first time New Zealanders have really invested in doing that for themselves. Generally speaking, what we've done in the past is take what other people do and then try and downscale it to, to make it uh, appropriate for New Zealand. So we're going to try and work with New Zealanders as they're thinking about the decisions they have in front of them and how climate change would affect those decisions. Usually you find that about four or five particular impacts rise to the top. Uh, there's uh, changes in the mean climate, so growing conditions and things like that, droughts, changes in sea level rise, changes in extreme events. So there's, there's a series of, of climate impacts which people want to know about and then see what, we, what new light we can shed on those problems for people. We're working on a best team approach. We've got the best people from around the country, from a number of different institutions, collaborating to really do something that we would, none of us would have been able to do individually. So it's that collective collaboration that makes the difference. You know, ideally, New Zealanders will be proactively planning for a change in climate. Um, they won't just be reacting to something that has already happened. They'll be thinking about how they can mitigate risks ahead of time to get ahead of the curve.